today Nafis and I are coming back to a regular space where we come and eat and we have been here on a number of occasions and our usual choice of food when we come here is this particular thing over here which is absolutely delicious and being creatures of habit that's pretty much what we have as you can see it's got a huge menu which we always seem to avoid or miss or don't even look at and today we have decided that we're going to be a little more adventurous and we are going to start looking at something else so our choice for the day is um, the very top left um, it is stir fried rice vegetables and beef and I don't know what the name of this restaurant is but it is not too far away from in time which is the shopping mall they make delicious food it's a halal restaurant which is um, owned by a family of really lovely people they're awfully friendly and helpful and just really very kind they are Chinese Muslim and they have a little baby here somewhere who I can't find um, they make the spaghettis and everything uh, from scratch so the guy in the kitchen is busy doing just that and that is going to be probably for our lunch there's some little babies coming in I think those are the grandkiddies and okay sorry let me not give him anyone else's face so I will give you a picture just now. There's Nafisa looking very busy on her phone and um, I will give you a snapshot of our lunch in just a few minutes. Okay, so food has arrived. There we go. Sorry. Blur, blur. There we go. The fried rice with vegetables and the brothy soup. Mirinda orange and a Pepsi and we are both having the same food and it looks rather yummy and we'll see how it tastes. Okay, this is a very short little trip down to downtown Hining. Where once again the colorful fountains have beckoned us and being a Friday night everybody is out and about and doing their shopping and doing well I suppose preparing for a nice weekend of as little as possible uh, the fountains are particularly beautiful they have not got the music on tonight but the people are all here with their little people and they're all buying balloons and um, having something to eat and mostly as you can see a lot of people are enjoying the beauty of this fountain there is a smaller fountain just a little bit on the way up there if you can see it um, which changes color pretty much the same as what this one does and they're usually synchronized but perhaps not tonight because there's no music but as you can see all the local yokels are out and about and somebody horning in the background over there um, but yes this is downtown Hining and it is perhaps one of a few little snaps I can get and perhaps later on there will be some music going with it I have done the music one before but maybe not tonight on the square where the fountains are uh, is, is this building it is really really pretty and you can go up there and you can actually see this one's light from far away it's almost like a beacon when you're riding around town especially obviously the downtown area it's one of a few places that have got these lovely parks it's always very nicely lit up and it always looks so pretty at night 
daytime looks pretty blare, but yeah, at night it looks good. A uh, little bit of all the shopping going on over there, there's the restaurants, the food places, other food places, and there's shops and coach shops and jewelry shops, and well, a couple of banks I think on that road as well, and cell phone shops by the million. It's quite a long road, uh, that's just a very short section of the road. There's a lady who had to be selling her balloons and there's some tears coming on the TV now. So presumably there's going to be some entertainment for the little people. Right, I've just noticed that the dancing fountain is starting up, so we're going to be heading towards that way now. Um, the crowds have already arrived, but anyway, uh, this is the fountain I was talking about. It's on obviously the same square, so we have the sort of fountain where we just were. Then we have this one which plays to the music of different artists. And the last time I recorded this one, it was to the music of Richard Kleiderman. And we'll see what tonight's going to bring. It's very pretty, as you can see. People get very excited when they see all this coming up. It's really beautiful. And just beyond these dancing fountains is another small little fountain which is synchronized color-wise with this particular fountain. And But there's no music there. It doesn't really do anything fancy except change color. So let's see what this one has for us tonight.
so weird then to walk in front of you. Taxi, I'm not sure, but hopefully the taxi driver's okay because the taxi is sort of engulfed by that tree. Um, somewhere in between the leaves, the police are strutting around doing what they do, and people are still very impatiently trying to squeeze past, even though they can see that there's something happening here, but they are still trying to squeeze past in their various types of vehicles. Motorcycles, everyone, as you can see, it's like something it's like a really big event here. Everyone, funny how people take out their cameras and start taking pictures when something happens as opposed to seeing close to they can help anyone. Um, I obviously cannot help, I don't speak their language, but it is a little concerning that the people are seemingly un unconcerned about a person in a taxi. The bus drivers are in the bus, so I presume they're okay. But the taxi driver, I'm not so sure. Okay, current current venue is at Nangwan Chen. Um, a place where we come quite often and we've actually entered from the other side for a change it's very pretty here for the first time though entering from this side discovered that there's a club of sorts here perhaps you can't see in that white bubble but it says club there I'll try to get a better picture of it but it's very prettily, prettily lit up um, it's very quiet. I don't know who frequents the club, but yes, yeah, so there we go. We're getting to the club sign. There you go. Anyway, that's in Chinese and it's got club. And then walking along, that's one side of it. And then on the other side, you know, just past the lanterns, there is the second side of it. And all the bottles up against the wall some serious drinking that went on to get all those bottles over there here's the entrance um, some 
some soft music playing in there, Chinese music. And over here, okay, it's another row of bottles with fairy lights of some description. That's quite pretty actually, it's really quite pretty. Um, but as I say, never heard of it, never seen it. And just something new we discovered on the other end of Nang Wan Shen. A little bit about Nang Wan Shen, where we are now. Um, it, it's, it's very traditional Chinese kind of shops um, and narrow little footpaths and quaint little shops some music places there's some there's quite a lot of history involved here so there are a couple of historical I don't know what one would call them I wouldn't call them buildings but it's historical landmarks or little huts or whatever you want to call them which gives a little bit of a history of of Nan Long Shen and I think more specifically about Haining so this is pretty much one of the, the cobble streets. This is like a main road that passes right through from one end to the other um, with, as you can see, a number of different kinds of stores and things on, on the sides. Um, it's quite a long road, um, but there are a few left turns and right turns. And further along the way, there are some historical sites. Um, this is one of the food places. Lots of foods and cakes, kiddies' toys, jewelry. Um, I don't know anything you can think of. But it's not a place really to come for shopping. It's it's more a place to come for a nice stroll. A lot of families come here and often see whole families walking around, perhaps having dinner together and just generally enjoying entertainment. Hey, people bring their pets here, a lot of people bring their dogs along, there's a poochie standing at the doorway over there. So it's very much a family outing kind of place outside of the city and outside of the hustle and bustle and traffic. Um, very pretty.